And one of the examples I want to give, because I had this experience with you at Walmart Health, when we were watching humans come through the door and observing, you know, one of the things that you've talked about forever, Marcus, that I believe in too, and it continues to enrage me, just, just happened the other day again. Where in healthcare did we forget that we are humans and our job in healthcare, let me use this as the example, somebody who is doing intake. And I'll use the example of my mother-in-law when she was um, in the middle of being diagnosed with what ultimately was a terminal diagnosis. And we knew it was going to be. We went, we went with her. We were late because of legitimate traffic. Antonio, she's not as mobile. Antonio, my man, runs her up. We'd called ahead to say we're going to be 15 minutes late. The woman who picked up the phone was so mean. That already I was like, my heart rate is pumping. And I'm not even her direct caregiver, Antonio, her son. But I'm already stressed. I'm like, we tear into the hospital. I'm like, okay, Antonio, you guys run up so that they know we're here. I told them we're not giving up. He gets up there. He calls me while I'm parking the car and says, don't even bother coming. They said because it's 15 minutes late. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm coming. So I, you know, march up there. And the woman behind the desk is so mean. She's so mean that... I like, I said, well, well, we're not leaving. Actually, we're not leaving. You can get the manager. We're not leaving. We just drove an hour into dinner. She just flew from Sicily to have this appointment. We're so stressed out about the others. We're not leaving. Like, please get the manager. The manager comes out. By this point, I'm standing in the middle of the waiting room in a tight little circle. Start talking to the manager. I start crying. I start crying because I'm so angry because I'm like, I don't understand this. You are in healthcare. Is anybody in this room? Did anyone wake up this morning like, I can't wait to go and maybe get a terminal diagnosis. I can't wait to, 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 be, to be the caregiver in this situation. Guess what? I'm not getting paid for this, right? This is, I'm doing this in love of this person that you are getting paid to support. And you're mean to her and you're mean to me and you're mean to her son. This is unacceptable. I thought I was going crazy. Like, where is the concept of customer service? And so when you're designing your beautiful, sexy technologies, when we're designing our beautiful, sexy technologies, when we're like coming up with gorgeous whiteboard boxes leading to box boards, if we can't freaking start with just being civil to the person at the center of all of this, the patient, and then the, the human, and then all of those around them, right? When that bad day happened for my mom-in-law, I had a terrible day. Antonio had a terrible day. My kids had a terrible day. I did an awful job at work. When we talk about cost. Think of the ripple effect. Was I protected that way? Day? No. And so, and I'm not mad at that woman at check-in. You know why? Because I bet she was having a bad day. She just forgot that her job includes you're not allowed to be mean to the people you're supposed to be serving.